Yesterday, early in-person voting ending in both New Jersey and New York. Voters who face likely some of the biggest hardship of their lives since the last election are going to make choices about who will lead us out of COVID, job losses, increasing crime, and economic uncertainty. Voters in both New York and New Jersey had their last day of early in-person voting yesterday, but we're back inside the polling places after COVID changed the way many of us cast our ballots. It's so important. It determines everything. As a New Yorker, you need to make sure that your vote is put into trusted hands, and I feel like that's what I did. In New Jersey, the governor's job up for grabs. Democrat Phil Murphy has been in the seat for the past four years, and while he's leading against his Republican challenger, former Assemblyman Jack Cittarelli, he's facing a 44-year-old precedent. No Democratic governor has been able to get reelected to a second term. All 120 legislator seats also being chosen. Across the river in New York City, 135,000 New Yorkers voting early, choosing between Democrat Eric Adams and Republican long shot Curtis Slewa for mayor, both using these last few hours hoping to nail down any undecided voters. The healthcare workers who've been fired, the teachers who've been fired, and now they're coming after the fire department, the police, and the sanitation workers. And what I told the crowd is, A, number one, we've all got to come together. we got to roll back those mandates. It is so inhumane. They've destroyed this city, and now they want to take it out on the civil service. We must end inequality, have a city where we can raise healthy children and families, and be safe. We must have a city where we're allowed to watch people move into the middle class, where dignity is not living on the streets. In New York City, you can still pick up an absentee ballot in person, but both in New York and New Jersey, they need to be mailed in, postmarked by Tuesday. In-person voting, of course, on the same day.